When we were younger, we'd always go over to Port Victoria with our nana and papa. And just growing up as kids, she would sort of teach us head, shoulders, knees and toes, but in Naranga language. I guess that's where we sort of really got hooked on culture and language. You can't have culture without language, but the reverse is true as well. You can't have language without culture. Nganari yi chan ni pila wara chi nyu chochi. Ngai chu ta kitina buki ananuku. Na tangi wil ta gana nrangi ali. Start learning language in year eight. My teacher was Jack Buckskin. As it got to the year 10 stage, teachers were sort of like, oh, what do you want to do? It sort of just hit me. It was like, oh, Jack really inspired me to do what he was doing. So the students that I work with are the Aboriginal kids from year threes to fives. They always come in with a smile on their face. I think it's that thing of learning about themselves, their language and their culture. What it all comes down to is being able to share, expose and being able to pass down my knowledge and pass it on to someone else. I don't know, I guess I'm passionate because it's who I am and the culture that we have is so rich, unique and something to be proud of. To have a dream is to aspire to be someone or somewhere you want to be in the future. Bringing back culture, that's my biggest dream. I am sort of only at the beginning. Still sort of learning, I guess, and yeah, I don't think I'll ever stop. I can imagine a day where my future kids are speaking their mother tongue language again in everyday life. I want to continue my dream so that others can continue theirs.